Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope. It's Saturday. It's my favorite day of the week. But I can't go shopping, so I thought, well, I'm going to make a video. <laughs> I've been working with the chickens. It's starting to rain again, so I wanted to put them back in the house. <laughs> in their house, not my house. Oh, God. No, they're back in their house. Um, I've been working in my garden. I cleaned out their coop. I'm, do I'm doing dishes. I'm planning some meals, getting some meals uh, preps ready, getting the refrigerator cleared out. Um, but what I want to talk about is prepping. I haven't talked about prepping in a while. I've kind of been doing the bare bones budget and the chicken thing. But I want to talk about prepping because that is a huge part of my life. If you noticed, even in my hauls, um, my bare bones budget hauls, there were prep items. 15 packs of tuna, 12 packs of taco seasoning. Um, I believe in the uh, food pantry haul, there was two bags of rice. There was some bagged um, meal mixes. All of that is for prepping. And I prep every time I shop. Just saying. I'm always putting something in my cart that has to do with prepping. Now you saw those three big cans of baked beans. I probably won't keep them in there long because I've been on a baked bean kick. Ever since I got those little Bush's baked beans for 40 cents, I've been eating baked beans a lot. My husband won't touch them, so I can open a big old can of beans, pour it in a container, eat out of it for days. I took some for lunch yesterday. <laughs> I love beans. I'm a bean girl. Anyway, life happens. Be prepared. And financially is the beginning of everything. Because if you're not financially prepared for, prepared for unexpected costs, loss of job, or injury, when I got injured from my job, I did not have a paycheck for four and a half weeks. My husband wasn't working. So for four and a half weeks, I'm sitting bills, and they're stacking, and they're piling. You know, they're sending me to specialists, and I made them supply a ride to all of these specialists that Workman's Comp and my company wanted me to go to. I wasn't going to put the expense on my vehicle. Uh, no, I couldn't afford the gas because I didn't have any income. I had some money saved up, but guess what? That went to my dog, my cats, toilet paper, things like that. I had to go to the food pantry. This is when I started really super prepping. I've always been prepared. I've always lived on a frugal budget, but that's when I started prepping and couponing and really diving in. So, financially be prepared. I always recommend $1,000 in a savings account and shove it away. That is the Dave Ramsey thing. I personally don't like Dave Ramsey just because I judge men different than I do women and I just, I don't, I don't like him. But I do like the message that comes through other people to me. And so I watch a lot of Dave Ramsey followers and I like their presentation better than his. And I believe that a thousand dollars in an emergency savings account is the first thing you need to do. I don't care if you have beans and taters and all of that stuff. A thousand dollars emergency savings account that you never ever touch unless it's an absolute dire emergency. That's what I believe. So I have that account. Now if you notice and you watch me and you've been watching my bare bones budget, you will notice that I keep $1,000 on my left side of my checkbook. That is my unexpected cost emergency. It's not my life emergency, but it is an unexpected cost emergency. And you know what? I had to get my car repaired. That was $463.63. And I took it from that side and I still have that $1,000 and a little bit above. So. Have I not, had I not been prepared for unexpected costs, I would have had to take that $463.63 out of my $1,000 emergency fund, which would be okay. That would be okay if that's how you had to do it, and then you would build that fund back up. But I like keeping $1,000 plus on that left side of my checkbook. That is my emergency unexpected cost thing. That's how I bought this car when my other car broke down after my truck blew up. I had enough money and that savings account 
or in my checking account to buy that, that car. It's not a fancy car. I think it ended up being like $800. I had it. I bought it. And it didn't have to come out of my savings. Didn't have to come out of my farm checking account. Didn't have to come out of my bonus account. It is out of my living checking account. So, life happens. Be prepared financially. Very important. Always put money back. People say, well, I don't believe in the government and the banks and this and that. You know what? I have money in the bank. And so far, nothing has happened. And it has kept me true. That's why I use a checkbook. I don't use cards at all. I don't use my debit card. And that's why when I do my bare bones budget, you can see exactly what I got put in there every week and exactly what I have at the end of the week. You can see exactly. Having that checkbook makes me responsible. Okay, so we talked about financially being prepared. Okay, now here's some common things that irritate me. Winter comes every year. Does it or does it not? The severity may be different or the time when specific events happen, snowstorms, ice storms, whatever. But winter happens every year. And people say, well, I wasn't ready. I didn't have antifreeze in my car because I didn't have any antifreeze. Why are you not buying antifreeze when it's on sale? Dollar General Digitals will have a three or four dollar off digital coupon for antifreeze like ever so often. Every time it comes on and I do a five off 25, I get a bottle of antifreeze. I think I have about six bottles of antifreeze just because of that. I mean, I'm giving like four dollars for a jug of antifreeze. It's normally 13, 15 dollars. Be prepared. You need antifreeze. You may not need that much, but your neighbor might, or one of your kids, one of their cars, you might want to go check their car, see what's going on right before winter. Be prepared. Another thing in the wintertime, why well, I didn't have a coat? Why do you not have a coat for winter? Winter happens every year. So in the beginning of summer, whenever all the winter clothes and coats and gloves and hats and socks and long johns come on sale, why are you not buying a little bit then? Be prepared for winter. Have a little food stocked up. Have a little water stocked up. Have some candles. Have a heating source. Have those things that you need in case the power goes out from an ice storm. Winter happens every year. It happens. What if you can't get to the store? Your cat, your dog, you need some toilet paper? Keep a winter supply. Just have a tote, a huge tote marked winter. Just for a few days. Have some candles, some toilet paper, some paper towels, some baby wipes, food, candles, flashlights, batteries. Maybe some of them little solar lights that you can stick outside and they'll bright up. You can bring them in the house and you'll have a little lighting. Winter time happens every year. Okay. First aid. Do you have first aid things? Do you have peroxide, alcohol, neosporin, or a cheaper brand? Do you have some band-aids, gauze? Do you have things that you can put on a wound? Why don't you? When sales hit, snatch it up. Or if you see it for a dollar, grab it. First aid. Now, bug repellent sunscreen. Summer happens every year, bugs come out, the sun comes out brighter, we wear less clothing. There's no reason to get sun sunburnt. Buy your sun care products when they go on their cheapest at the end of summer, beginning of winter or fall. Get it then. Stock it up. Get some bug repellent when it goes on sale or discount or clearance. So make another tote. Summer! I don't know. First aid. Very important. Um, the little pain relievers. 
um, calamine kind of lotions. It's very important to have because weeds come out every year. Just saying. It's raining. Now, disasters. Natural disasters. In your area, you have to know what's going to happen. My area is tornadoes, high winds, um, I don't know, what else? I really don't have flooding because of where I am on how my house is sloped down. But if a tornado hits, I'm ready for power outages. I'm ready to plastic up windows, plastic and duct tape. If my windows got blown out, I can plastic my windows with the rolls of plastic that I have stockpiled and my duct tape. And there's always boards to board it up with to help it. So if you live in a hurricane area, you know what to do, right? Food, water. If you're in a flooding area, you know what to do. You want to have stuff that you can take with you. So have a plan. I have this tote or this bucket filled with this. I have this bucket filled with this. Because in those situations, you don't want to wait for the Red Cross or a local church or group or the government to come get you and feed you and give you some, some new stuff. You don't want that. Oh, bug all over me. But I have repellent on, so I don't know why it's next to me. Oh, that's why. This is an ant. Okay. Disasters. Natural disasters, they happen. You know what it, your area is prone to. Seeds. Seeds are very important to have. Have a seed bank. Just put a container and just start throwing seeds in there. Your basic seeds, corn, beans, peas, greens, carrots, beets, radishes. You can get cheap seeds. It's pretty important. And then as you progress, you will get better seeds for actual crops. Life happens, be prepared, and be prepared for anything. That's my, my key. So you all have a great day. Save that money. Buy that stuff that you're going to need in winter. Buy it now. <laughs> Bye, y'all.